Hello and welcome to another chapter of my Evernote plus Google Drive saga. <laughs> Maybe I should create a playlist for all the videos I have already recorded about this topic. Anyway, keeping my documents in Google Drive and linking them to notes in Evernote comes with its problems. For example, if I search for something in Evernote, that search will not find information inside the documents I have on Google Drive. But it has so many benefits, and this is the topic of today's video. I just want to share with you something that happened the other day. This connection is pretty interesting. <laughs> Maybe you already know how to do this, but for those of you that don't know, there's a way to attach Google Drive files to calendar entries. It's pretty simple. All you have to do is go to the entry details and on that description box, you see a paper clip. Yeah, click there and you see all your Google Drive files. Choose one or more and those files will be attached to that entry. But don't go just yet, there's more. For example, if this appointment is a Google Meet meeting, those documents will be visible on the Google Meet call. But wait, you can set permissions. When you share, when you click to share that appointment with one or more people, you can, you, you, you'll be prompt with the same uh, pop-up window that we see when we share files on Google Drive. There, you'll be able to limit the sharing. For example, I can share that document with all the people on that appointment. I can set it to share with anyone that has the link, or I can choose to share it with no one. I can give permission to read, write. All the settings we see when we are sharing a document uh, on Google Drive, we'll see on this pop-up window, right there inside the calendar entry on Google Calendar. So by keeping my documents on Google Drive, I can have them in many Evernote notes and also have them in situations like this when I need to share that document on a meeting. We can even work on that document together, two or more people added that document and it's the same document we have access to the same document in many notes, in many situations. Yes, it's pretty simple, but I loved it because it's also quite powerful. Remember, it's the same document. If you want to watch my other videos about Google Drive and Evernote integration, click here. And if this one was helpful, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. But if you want to help even more, please consider joining my Patreon. Thanks for watching. See you soon.